Hi everyone, this is Patrick from North 52 here, and today we are going to take a look at the scheduler in North 52. With the North 52 scheduler, you can trigger workflows and actions over specific subsets of records or all records in your system. This series will be broken into several videos where we will first get familiar with the scheduler interface, then we will set up a basic schedule to send a happy birthday email to all users in a dynamic system. Next, we will look at understanding some of the more advanced fields found in a schedule. Then we will set up a daily email notification to a system administrator for failed system jobs. And then finally, we will talk about how the North 52 scheduler can handle huge quantities of records while still maintaining excellent performance in your Dynamics 365 environment. To get to the schedules, we first navigate to Settings, N52 Schedules, and then click on New to create a fresh one. The first step would be to name your schedule. Then we specify the frequency of the schedule. You can set it to run hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, quarterly, or every X number of them. Please bear in mind that while you can set it to repeat every X minutes as well. Microsoft won't allow a schedule to execute more than once per hour. So if you try and trigger it every one minute, don't be surprised when you see it only firing every hour instead. You must then select what type of schedule you want to run. There are three options, workflow, global action, or entity update. A workflow schedule will trigger a workflow. A global action triggers a global action. An entity update though is slightly different. Instead of firing something, the schedule will instead nudge that entity and trigger any plugins on it. You can control which fields on the entity are triggered by using the fetch XML. You then set the start date when you want the schedule to fire first. And if you set the frequency as daily, it would fire again 24 hours later. For workflow and entity update style schedules, you would need to enter fetch XML that will be used to identify the set of records you want the schedules to run against. The fetch XML must be valid. If you enter junk, you will then get an error message when you try and save. When the schedule has been created like this, the next step is to actually start the schedule. So click on N52 commands, start schedule. This will create an instance of the North 52 schedule in your system jobs. You can see this by navigating to settings, system jobs. Select N52 schedule in the entity dropdown. You will see a waiting instance of the system job and any successes or failures if you are keeping them. If you ever want to stop a schedule, return to the schedule and then use N52 command stop schedule. In the next video, we will configure the happy birthday schedule. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please contact support at north52.com or visit support.north52.com.